Hey Red Bags, it's Jay. Today I'm taking a look at First Dwarf. I have showed this off a little bit in previews and list videos. It's a dwarf game where you control a mech suit while you're trying to build up a colony on a maybe alien planet, fight all sorts of creatures. And yeah, it's supposed to be a mix of like colony management and action RPG. I have not played it before. We're gonna jump in blind right now. Obviously only seeing the trailers and some gameplay footage. It is coming to Xbox in the future, but it does look like probably be a PC release at first in early access. So this playtest is available right now. Anyone can go and try it. Just check it out on the Steam page and I'll keep you guys up to date if I like the game. So let's go. Ooh, storms, check. Airship, check. Dwarf with ginger beard, check. Is he gonna crash? Probably. Oh, we've got some crows. Yeah. Steampunky and vibes going on here. This guy, oh, flashback. Happier times when he wasn't about to get electrocuted. There's the mech. That's what we're going to be getting inside in like two seconds flat. Oh, 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 bit it. Go down, Mayday, Mayday. Dwarf down, dwarf down. Crows, crows out. Crows escape. That's Moonin and Hujin. They're gone. Ah, uh, yeah, this is looking bad. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, you can also control a little dragon in the game, literally like Spyro. It's a weird mix, I ain't gonna lie, it's a very interesting mix. Hopefully, these little sky islands are gonna be running around, gathering resources, fighting enemies, and building up some sort of base or maybe settlement. And uh, yeah, hope he's got his crash helmet on. Oh no, perfect answer, get inside the mech suit and pray. Okay, there we go. I am a dwarf, and I like flying airships. He's creaking about quite a bit. I'm trying to get like a nice picture. Okay, right. Let's um let's gather some stuff then. No, not discovering woods. Okay. Repair the mech. Uh circle menu. Okay. So this is how we choose what we want. A mech suit, the airship, the dwarf, or the dragon. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Jump, yep. Run. Yep, yep, yep. Fast run. And then we've got a map. Okay. So I think it's a static map, I do believe. It's quite large, quite big, okay. Quests. Inventory. It's a blueprint system. Characters, okay, so you can level up different characters. Gotcha. Once we get some points. Okay, cool. Right. Um what meant to do here? Rudder. Repair the, the, the thingy, okay, here we go. Okay, so we're just picking bits up. Right. Broken engine, roof, yep, yep. Oh, we've got a hammer now. Good thing it didn't fall far. Oh, there we go. Picking up stone. Apparently we're chopping trees with a hammer. There's got to be a quick way of this. Oh, hang on. There's some more bits. Yep, gears. Okay, let's grab it all. Build a base. Place for colonists. Okay, conditions for sending a raven. So we've just got to find somewhere nice. Okay, so what we're going over here. Okay. I feel like it's something I should have maybe gathered or picked up here. Maybe getting the, the mech suit. Hold to repair. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll get that sorted. Is it by the button? Okay, that one. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, we're rocking now. And he's got an axe. This is what we need. Okay, plenty of wood. Nice, no having to gather stuff, it just all falls in your hand. I keep getting pushed away, camera's a bit iffy. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, going to build mode. So you can only build, what, in your mech suit? I would say it's not like the most next-gen, prettiest looking game. There's some nice vibes here, for sure. Like, the landscape looks okay. I've almost got like a, I guess that's one reason it's going to be on the Xbox, right? So that's, that's good. So you put this down and what, you gather resources from nearby? It's going to consume mana. Okay, I'm going to put it there. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. So find a quarry. Okay, we've got to find a quarry. Oh, this is mana. You extract it. I'll just put my thing in it. Nice, okay. So is this where we're going to use Spyro maybe to... Um, get around to find this quarry. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I kind of like the, the elements here. Moving things around. So we're looking for a quarry. There's plenty of stone there. 
Yeah, flying around. Scout. Oh, you can move around like this as well. Oh, what's that? Okay, so you got to hold it in line. Oh. Is that a quarry? Some sort of plant life there. Okay. How do we go up? Can we go up? I can flame as well! That's pretty cool. There we go. Go a bit further. Oh look, we've got the Sky Islands! It's like right above us as well. Okay, let's see how far we can get up. Okay, so we have got a stamina bar. Got to be a bit careful. Don't like fall to my death. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it's kind of cool. There's all sorts of stuff up there. So you just replenish your stam whenever you want. Okay, yeah, yeah, look, I've got a towel there. This is the right move to get up higher and look properly around. Oh, I found something. It's triggered something. I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient Escoin ports. These half buildings, half machines guided airships and served as a harbor. It doesn't look too damaged by the Great Rapture. I think I can get it running. Can use this port to guide our people. Your people. So, I might have to redo this place up or something. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of a quest item then. A story item. Okay. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Yep, 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 yep. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's go back to Dwarf Boy. I, I did all that. You know what? It's on the map. It's right here. This is the quarry. Huge amount. Okay, let's get the stones. This looks like a good place to dig. No, oh, here's the bad jujus. What is it? Is this what we're going to be fighting? Demons from another dimension? No, just something that looks pretty or quick. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Ooh. Right, there is a block button. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And a touch button. Nice. Can I... Do you lock onto it? I don't think I'd want to face that as the dwarf, ain't gonna lie. It's like a portal, a dimension. So we've got to destroy the nest. Do we just wait, wait on it then? I presume we get like better upgraded weapons to make this a bit easier to do. Yeah, that's it. Go on, give me a... Maybe I'm missing something with the hit in here. Yes, there we go. Combo system, got to time it. Okay, so we don't go through them portals. Find the right place. Uh, manor well, build a manor well. New building material and construction menu pipeline. Okay, so we're going to like water stuff and get stuff up. It's got like automation and chisel in it. Okay, so. Um, that's what we want. We want the manor well. Okay. It's got to go on the manor. Duh. Right, a sawmill now. Okay, cool. So you want it to be in range of that, or yeah, it's got to be close enough. Okay, simple enough. Let it gather resources for us. We get the power situation sorted up. Can I put it to the same thing? Done. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we connect the same pipes like roadways up. I feel this game, you know, I like different games, not just bog standard open world survival. Something a bit more uh, meat and potatoes on it, like this. This could be cool. So, here we go, look, it's just chucking it away. It's kind of nice, little animations there. Right, new building available, defensive walls, right, defensive towers. I should have built the base closer, shouldn't I, really? Okay, let's do this then. So, we've got defences. Oh my god, there's loads. Going diagonal. Give yourself a little bit of space here. So far, I'm not running out of wood. I only cost like one one fence as well, to be fair. Defensive turret, here we go. So, we'll have one to, yeah, protect here. Okay, that's good, okay. And then, I guess one to protect the base and here as well. It's kind of overlapping these two, but I think that's it. Oh, we've got to power it up still though. Okay, right, right, we've got to power up. I need more power, Captain. Now, balloon defense turrets. We might have, like, flying enemies coming for us. Okay. Right, I need more quarries or, or woods going. I'm just going to fire at nearby enemies. Okay. 
Okay, that's cool. And maybe one on this side as well. If we find a spot for it. No, I still need that stone. So you get 300 per day, right? So it's not like discovering it every two minutes. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put that one there. There we go. And now we've just got to power it up again. No, nope, still need more stone. Can I remove this? Yes, you can. Can I sleep and get like some daytime? Also, this has got no mana. Should I have set up a mana pool, a mana line to it? Yeah, look, there's no power. Okay, so we've got to do that as well. Okay, let's just get a bit more stone then, I guess. Yeah, we want to get this to the power line. There we go. We've got power now, so I presume that's all going to start replenishing that all up, maybe? It's an anxious kind of silence. Oh, what is this? It's got berries. Pick this up. Right. Oh my god, that is quite a strong effect we've got going on here. Oh, here we go. I would. It's doing business now. Okay, it's pretty cool. Right, stop them once. Oh my god, there's quite a lot. Right, come on. Get good with this combat. That's it. Ooh. Oh, no, that was not good. There we go. I think we just about survived. Can we pick up these arrows? Okay, there's apparently a build mode. So we're building houses now. I'll see another um, nest. Should go and destroy it. Let's go and destroy it. Ooh. Darkstone. If you get that combo, it's a lot easier. For sure. We have survived. And the clan council wants to send settlers here? I'm a bit worried as well. Oh, there's another thing there. Oh, so we'd run it all the way down. The the Let's get more stone. Thing. After building a base in the Holy Island, you can activate the point. Okay, so it's like a, a respawn point. Okay, so I've got 300 mana. Is there a way to like level up or it, like use it in other ways? That camera shake's a bit brutal. I ain't gonna lie, for a person. Yeah, I'd rather have the houses kind of close together if I can. And let's get power chisel sorted. So there you go. It's one, two, three, and we've got to power it up again. Good God! So it's got health, and we can repair stuff. Okay, so you're gonna have to repair stuff if you've been beaten up and stuff. Um, I mean, I guess we could put more defences down, right? What have we got here? We've got the Raven Watchtower. Sees danger from far ahead. The Mortar. Okay, that's pretty cool. More defensive walls and gates too. Okay, cool. Alright, you know what? I think it might be time. I kind of wish this would let you just build it all in one go. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it doesn't feel like it is. There we go. Okay, so that's one side. A bit more fixed now. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we've got that. Although, maybe I'll put a gate here. Right, there we go. Powered gate. Nice. So, examine an ancient tower. Okay, well, this is where I can use my, my guy. I don't need to fly all that way, do I? I can use dragon guy. No, no, no. It's behind us. It's on the map. Right up there. Oh, you go pretty slow. I definitely want to invest in the uh, dragon having a bit more speed. Right, can I remove this by... Ancient Eskimo port tainted by dark magic. Okay. Performance eight percent. What, what are you meant to do? Take out the tank the crystal. Looks good, but we need a navigation stone for the port to function correctly. Right. Okay. okay. A little bit faster. Gliding. Be nice to like some air vents and stuff like that to make it go faster. Okay. Let's go over to the ruins. Is that what I missed? The crash trail ends here. Navigation stone is not here. It must have fallen off somewhere else. No. I have an idea where it might be. Okay, right. Before starting scouring Ragnar, ensure that True is placed in your location to guarantee a safe process. Oh, that looks cool. Definitely the ground looks pretty interesting. Like the, the, the ground box, not the sky box. In fact, I don't think I even really need to do this. I think I can go just like that. And there we go. Oh, nice and quick. Okay, cool. Now, do I need to get up there myself, or can I send my guy? 
Eskimo technology. Yeah, we'll take that. So we might end up repairing that place later. Oh, uh, bad juju wolves. Oh no. Okay, so we'll be back here. How to heal the, uh, the foxes. Alright, we'll do that in a while. Okay, let's get the uh, well done then. Three squares, maybe? There we go. Ooh. wonder if we give berries. That's how we fix the uh, the sick walls. The six thingies. Hi, buds. There we go. That's how we worked it out. Okay. There we go. Just heal it. Just like that. The spots on the fur have disappeared. It's so robotic, these voices. I appreciate um, this is like, a, I think, a European uh, company making this game. So no problem using other voices. But I think I would have liked just a bit more of an accent on this guy. Like American. Sorry to say Americans. I love you guys. But it's kind of generic, right? Aren't all dwarves Scottish or Cockney? I thought that was that was the law. I'm just saying. That's what I think I would like to see added. Ooh. Yeah, can we jump and land? Yeah. Titanfall. There we go. So we're going to send a raven. This is, this is going to be... Where do I send a raven to the dwarves? Back at base. Yep, yeah, here we go. And we did it! We made it habitable for the first inhabitants to come and live on this uh, landscape filled with purple monsters. We've got new dwarves arriving. Apparently, somewhere. So it's either some sort of like teleportal or thingy. But yeah, so far, it's an interesting mix. Colony management... Running around, it does feel very basic with the combat and stuff, but that's not the end of the world because it obviously is focusing on the colony stuff too. But I kind of like the art style. I said it's a, a bit watercolory and muted in some places, but I think that's probably because they're trying to aim to get on the Xbox as well. Hey, touch my armpit. Right, so what I've got to do? I've got to get this Eskimo remains. Did I not just do all that? Oh, timber. Can't see a. Workshop. Definitely says place workshop at the base, but I'm like, well, how am I meant to do that then? Oh, this isn't powered properly. Or well, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's powered up. There we go. Don't know what was up with it. Or maybe there just wasn't enough mana coming out. So that's like generating 170 mana. And then I guess we're meant to factor in everything else. Let me take a look at some of the other stuff. So we can make it bigger. That's what we're meant to do. And we can un get new blueprints maybe in the future. Okay, so we're just putting points into it like this. Right, okay. Well, so far, it's the, the mech and the dragon that's been the most useful. Okay, there we go. So it has kept track of all that stuff, but not revealing what it is. So I have to go back to do some more. Place workshop at the base. Well, the tools are here. So are they going to add something? Are they going to start producing more? Is that the idea? You'll get more. It's not very clearly laid out. Like, what, what's the benefit? What are you getting? So I'd like to see that added a little bit more. It'll pop up for a little screen. I guess up top, I can see the stone building up slowly in the woods. Apparently, we can get metal as well, eventually. Still no workshop. All right, okay. Well, I'm going to work out on this stuff. But so far, yeah, it could be good. Definitely needs a lot more flesh now. But so far, the general premise. I guess we'll go and get new resources, we'll keep defending, we'll go and explore and unlock new recipes. Uh, it's pretty basic, pretty generic with the uh, the power stuff here, but not hard. It's all relatively simple. Um, that looks like it's not getting enough power, but apparently it is. So, all in all, yeah, I like survival games with a bit of a difference. And I do like a bit of colony management and stuff like that. So it's kind of combining everything. I like the idea that you can switch between them. That's pretty cool. I see that developed a bit more. And yeah, it should be cool, I guess, to go to other places. So I might give it another try. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And as always, I'll be back showcasing other new games now and then, occasionally. Otherwise, check me for my usual grounded Lego Fortnite and other games. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.